MRI showed a complete stenosis of the pancreatic ojejunostomy with pronounced dilation of the main pancreatic duct. In a closer look, we can see the anastomotic stricture. This technique consists in the removal of part of the pancreas, preserving the posterior layer of suture. A small opening is done in the jejunum, and a duct to mucosa pancreaticojejunostomy is performed, using continuous absorbable suture. Operation begins with division of adhesions from previous operation. Liver is retracted and pancreaticojejunostomy is identified. The anastomosis is carefully dissected from the liver surface with robotic scissors. We should keep in mind that the portal vein lies behind the anastomosis. Therefore, carefully mobilization of the anastomosis is important. At this time, we can see the portal vein and the pancreaticojejunostomy stenosis. Anterior layer of interrupted sutures is divided with scissors. The distal pancreas is separated from the jejunal loop. The posterior layer is identified, and preserved. Next step is to resect the proximal portion of the pancreas, in a pyramidal shape. Dilated main pancreatic duct is found during division of the pancreas. Small stones are found, and removed from the pancreatic duct. Removal of the pancreatic tissue is completed, maintaining the posterior layer intact and the pancreas partially attached to the jejunum. Main pancreatic duct is checked for residual stones. Main pancreatic duct is dilated and ready for anastomosis. A small opening is made on the jejunum, with robotic scissors. A duct to mucosa anastomosis is then performed with continuous absorbable suture. Posterior line of suture is completed. Anterior line of suture is performed. Duct to mucosa anastomosis is completed. Final step is to perform the anterior layer, using interrupted 4-O proline stitches.